Let me tell you, first of all, what the problem is if you're not able to save. The problem is not that you're unable to save. It's even though four things. One is you're spending too much money. Number two is you're not making enough money. Number three is a combination of both. And number four, you don't have a system of saving. So let me show you how to solve those problems pretty quickly and pretty simply. It'll take you one good quarter. And once you get into that habit, you'll be good. The first thing you want to do when you start saving is eliminate everything we call wastage. Wastage means any amount of money that you're spending that you shouldn't be spending, things you don't need, but things you want or things you've already formed habits on. Here's examples. Go through your credit card bill, or if you use debit cards, go through your bank statement. Eliminate everything that you don't absolutely need. Cable, for example. Who needs cable? I don't watch cable, I watch Netflix. Magazines and all those subscriptions. When I went, when I did this exercise, I had dozens of subscriptions, magazine subscription, Wall Street Journal subscription, Byron subscription, uh, Money Magazine subscription, I sub antivirus. So you don't need antivirus. You don't need to pay for antivirus subscriptions. It's free. You can get it for free. Just look, Starbucks. I used to drink eight shots of espresso every day. Now I make my own espresso. I don't have to spend, you know, $18 every day on Starbucks. You don't have to spend $8 on Starbucks. Cut down on unnecessary expenses. That's the first place, developing good spending habits. At the end of the month, go, by the way, March is over. Open up your bank statement, right? Look at your income. If you made $3,000 that month and you spend $3,000, you're doing something wrong. You need to eliminate those things that are extraneous, those things that are wasteful. The second thing is you need to build a savings habit. This is probably the most important part. It has to become part of habit. You remember when I told you that being rich or being wealthy is a state of mind? It's, it's only partly true. Being wealthy is also a habit. It's many, many things that you do. There's a book that I love called The Millionaire Next Door. And many people think millionaires are people who hit the lottery or who set up a technology company and made a billion dollars and so on. No, rich people are the people who every day they own a dry cleaner, they own a shoe store, they own a, uh, a clothing store, a real estate business. They make $100, they save $25, and they invest it and it keeps growing and they don't touch it. They have a habit. So you have to build a good savings habit. How do you do that? How do you build a good savings habit? Well, first of all, I talked about this online savings account. Go open an online savings account that's separate from all your other accounts. That's going to be your savings account. There's multiple different places you can go. Go to episode three, uh, you know, episode three in season two. It's a few episodes away. Go watch about, go watch how to eliminate high fees and how to get high interest from your savings account. That's the first thing you want to do. Open up a separate savings account. Then... The next check you make, save 2% of your check. If you make $1,000 your next check, that's only $20. That's nothing. It's $20. Save $20. Save 2% every week, every, every, every pay period. That's $20 if you make $1,000. Put that in the online savings account that you opened, right? Make it systematic every month or every, every two weeks, the money hits your account, boom, it comes out. Your check hits your account that same day, it goes into your online savings account. You're going to be making interest. You're not going to be paying any fees on that savings account. And guess what? That's what I call paying yourself first, right? Most people, here's what most people do. What most people do is they pay all those bills. They pay all their bills, right? They pay the mortgage. They pay the rent. They pay for food. They pay for child care. They, they pay for uh, uh, car expenses. They pay for insurance. They pay all these bills. They pay tax bills. What they don't do is they don't save money. They don't pay themselves first. So the first thing you want to do is take that 2%, put it into an online savings account, and ignore that 2%. Then start to raise that 2% every quarter. 
by 1%. So next quarter, you're going to be saving 3%. The quarter of that 4%, until you get to 5%. Imagine that. So the first thing you want to do is open up an online bank. The second thing you want to do is open up um, an online, uh, um, uh, uh, do a systematic 2% of your paycheck every pay period. The third thing you want to do, this is just as important. Almost every bank has this thing called save the change. So if you spend, if you go to the gas station and you put gas in your car like I did yesterday and you spend, you know, uh, $25.18, the remaining 82 cents, the bank will round up and put into your savings account. If you don't, have, if your bank doesn't offer it, there's a company called Acorns, A-C-O-R-N-S, Acorns, right? They do save the change. They'll help you do that investment, right? Uh, and so do those three things. And that way, you'll be able to start accumulating savings. Now, there's one more aspect, right? So you can figure out how to eliminate wastage. You can figure out how to increase your savings. But how about your income? If you're not making enough, if you're not making enough money to, to pay your bills, talk less of save, maybe you should consider changing your career, right? Seriously, most people are afraid to make that next move. The next three episodes of Wealth Demystified in May, I'm going to teach you all the ways to start a new business or to shift your career. I'm going to give you brand new free courses. You can do this so many, many different courses that you can subscribe to, right? There's boot camp, there's accounting, there's retail, there's um, uh, customer service, there's multiple different courses. You can actually just take an online course. It's free. Upgrade your skills and get a new job. Apply indeed.com, monster.com, Craigslist. There's many, many different ways, but you really have to break that, you know, that chain, that thing that keeps you, you know, from, you know, achieving uh, greatness, you know, which is basically that mindset of, you know, I'm where I am and I have to stay where I am. No, you don't.